Hey everyone, uh, my name is Leah. If you haven't come on my channel yet, um, it's nice to meet you. But yeah, today I'm gonna be filming a grocery haul workout. What am I saying? A grocery haul video. Sorry, I just did a yoga workout, so I think that's why that's on my mind. Um, hi, Nala. Say hello to the camera. She crazy. She crazy. All right, um, so yeah, I'll get into that. Basically, just to give you guys a rundown, I went to two places. So I went to H-E-B and then I went to Whole Foods. Um, I like to go to Whole Foods to get my meat uh, and some produce. I also just like to, sh honestly, like grocery shopping is really fun for me, so I like to go to different places. Um, total, I probably spent around $200, but I bought a shit ton of food. So y'all will definitely see that. It'll probably honestly last me like three to four weeks. So yeah, I'll get into it. So in case you don't know this about me, I have a couple autoimmune disorders. So I try not to eat dairy, but I am 100% gluten free. I've been gluten free for almost two years now and it has just changed my life with um, like my bloating, gas, digestion problems. It has improved them massively. So that's just, you know, I tend to avoid a lot of breads and all that stuff, even that are gluten free. So you'll just know that in this haul that, yeah, I don't eat gluten. Okay, so starting with the veggies, I have been trying to eat a lot more veggies for my own body and for my digestive problems that I've still been suffering with, so hopefully we'll see if this helps. But yeah, I'll kind of go through this stuff. Sorry, it's a little bit messy. Um, I started with buying like three packs of these. So this one is the Super Greens. It has just a bunch of uh, like spinach, arugula, all the super greens mixed in one tub. So I'll probably use that for salads. Uh, this is also 50-50 blend. It says Central Market. I got it from HEB though. So that's a 50-50 blend of just some spinach, kale, spring mix. And then this, I bought baby kale for cooking with like fish. If I want to put it in the oven, like little kale chips or mixing it with smoothies. So I got three of those. And then I got some lettuce wraps, so I'm planning to make some tacos with these lettuce wraps instead of using tortillas and taco shells. Two good old avocados, gotta have some healthy fats in there. I love cucumbers, two, cu two big old cucumbers. Um, I'll mix these with veggies to make some veggie juice or smoothies because cucumbers are pretty tasteless. I'll have them as snacks. Bell peppers like to chop those up you can add those in omelets or make little pepper shell things I forget what they're called but you can like put meat in them stuffed peppers there we go uh, I bought some broccolis and cauliflower florets um, those are just easy because you can microwave them but I might also put these in the oven some zucchini because I love some zucchini need noodles you can just, I have a little thing and I can definitely show you guys, but basically I just put the zucchini in and it, I wring it out and it makes the noodles super easy. Some guac, I love my guacamole. Um, I have two lemons, yummy yum, for some good old lemon juice in the morning. Hot lemon water is like the best. Two limes, we'll probably use that for taco meat to season that. Maybe some fish also. A yellow onion, a red onion. Onions are amazing to add to anything, really for good old flavor. Two sweet potatoes, some good old carrots, petite carrots. Washed and ready to use, they say, but I'll probably wash all this stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna wash all this stuff. Soak your produce, super important, especially now with Corona. Some rosemary to add. Mushrooms, which I'm not really a big mushroom fan, but I like adding in eggs. Um, then onto the fruit, I have a mango, a bunch of mandarin oranges, or just navel oranges for vitamin C. Hello, Nala. Some raspberries, blackberries, kiwi and pineapple, and these pomegranate seeds because they're so cheap at HEB. I just 
could not resist. So yeah, you may notice that I did not buy really any other fruit. Um, I'm trying just to eat fruit just to snack on. I'm a little bit obsessed with eating fruit. I'm trying to avoid bananas. Not that there's anything bad with bananas, but they're a little bit high in carbs and they tend to constipate me. Sorry, TMI, but the truth. So yeah, I'm trying to avoid that just for my digestive problems. Bro, are you good? Meow. She sees herself in the mirror. She's like, who that? Yes, I'm talking about you. Don't climb on me. Oh, rude. Okay, ow. So now we'll go on to the meat. I have never bought rotisserie chicken, but yeah, I bought some of this and I think it's just gonna be really a lot easier to shred it. Um, I'm just gonna make some like shredded taco salads and it looks amazing. Um, this, let's see, we got some ground turkey. So 99% lean, 1% fat. I just like to get my meat more lean. Um, got some ground beef as well. This is 93% lean. Got some salmon. Yum. Love some salmon from Whole Foods. Their meat is so fresh. Sorry, you can't really see that. But yeah, I just got a pound. And then some good old brown organic eggs. Yum. Now let get out of my refrigerator. Okay, no, you cannot lick my chicken. Stop. Get out. All right, and then, so I bought this almond milk, or this dairy-free milk, and it's like plant protein milk. I've never tried it before, um, but the ingredients look pretty clean as far as it goes, so that's why I bought it. I've never tried it. It just kind of intrigued me at H-E-B, and also they were out of this, which is my favorite brand of almond milk. So clean. So good. Yeah, notice how, like, when I buy my almond milk at Trader Joe's, they have this one kind that just has a bunch of extra crap in it. So this is really light on the ingredients. Um, low calorie. That's amazing. I've never tried this plant-based yogurt before. This also intrigued me, this dairy-free yogurt. Usually yogurt upsets my stomach, but the coconut milk one doesn't. Um, and then they didn't have that kind today, so I was just, you know... I'm like, oh, this one looks good. So I'll let you guys know how it is. But as far as the ingredients go, yeah, there's not too much extra jazz in there. So that's why I figured I would try it. Then also, every time I go to the grocery store, like, I have to buy a kombucha. I just can't avoid it. Usually I get ones under 10 grams of sugar, but I did not look at this one. This has 16 grams of added sugars. Yikes. So probably won't be getting this kind again, but usually 10 grams is what I look for in added sugars. Anything more than that, it kind of scares me um, just because it hurts my stomach a little bit. But still, this flavor looks amazing. I just couldn't help myself. As far as any dry ingredients, I got some rice pilaf, wild mushroom and herb organic. Um, it just looks super yummy. Yeah, I've never tried this before, but I figured I was like, mm, that's probably good for some carbs. Got some black beans. Got some, okay. At first when I tried these, these seaweed things, um, they're, I got this from H-E-B, but they also have my like Whole Foods Central Market. Super popular. And at first when I tried them, I was terrified. I literally felt like I was eating sand. But now I've gotten used to them and I am so obsessed with them. They have different flavors. And they have a bag of six. They're kind of expensive. I'm not going to lie, like $5 for six little packs. So they're kind of like my splurge items for snacks. But honestly, better to spend money on your health than anything else, right? That's just what I tell myself. I also bought this um, Central Market brand Albacore Tuna from HEB. I've never tried it before. Um, but it says no salt is added. The only ingredients are the tuna itself i don't know if you can see that if it'll zoom in but yeah it's just basically the tuna and then water so super clean sorry i was trying to zoom in there um i don't think it's gonna get that but yeah i also got those for my meat my protein there's like 33 grams of protein in this bad boy 
As far as desserts go, I got these little oatmeal bites. Yeah, they're high in fiber, so I'm like, they're gonna help with my tummy problems. Um, maybe not the best things, but again, like, life is about balance, okay? You just, you just have to have balance. Um, y'all recommended some dark chocolate squares for dessert, so I got some dark chocolate. I also got some vegan, um, vegan chocolate chips that someone suggested to put in the freezer and said that they were amazing, so I got these as well. Oh, also in my freezer for breakfast, I got some sausage. So Applegate is amazing. They have awesome frozen products um, that are all like gluten-free and all natural meat, so no antibiotics ever. That's the main thing when you buy your meat, just make sure that there are no antibiotics added and especially your fish, make sure it's wild caught. Okay, give your body the stuff it deserves. And yeah. As far as anything that I get pill-wise, First, I just want to say, always consult your doctor first before you add any extra supplements to your diet, um, just in case if you're taking any medications um, or if your you know, blood work comes back, you're too high on vitamin D, you don't want to take any vitamin D, you know? Um, but also know I'm on a bunch of extra medication, not a bunch, but you know, like four extra medications for my autoimmune disorders and for my mental health so just keep that in mind as well um this isn't like a this regimen fits everyone this is just kind of what's working for me now um currently when i started taking this probiotic i have had normal bowel movements which is very like rare for me i haven't had a normal like daily bowel movement in like two years and then when i started taking this everything changed which again sorry tmi i'm just trying to be really upfront and um honest with you guys about my life i also take benefiber it helps me stay regular as well again though if you get enough fiber in your diet or if your body digests fiber really well this is just always good to consult your doctor before you take anything extra i also take some calcium and vitamin d because I am lactose intolerant, dairy hurts my stomach, I don't drink any milk, I really haven't ever. So my calcium levels are always really low, so my doctor suggested that for me. And then I also take some fish oil just to get those extra omega-3s. And um, this is something I clearly just started like not too long ago, maybe a few days ago. So we'll see if I notice a huge difference. Um, it's all, again, like wild Alaskan fish, so natural, um, natural fish, and yeah. That's basically all I take. Cool. Nala, that is not cute. We're on camera. You're making me look bad. Yeah, as y'all can tell, I didn't really buy any processed foods. Uh, just kind of a goal of mine, especially now with Corona quarantine going on, I have been eating kind of bad lately and so I'm restarting, refreshing everything, trying to avoid processed foods trying to avoid a lot of added sugars. So natural sugars from fruits are okay. And uh, just for my own body, I just honestly feel so much better physically and mentally. Um, you know, it all links together, okay? When your diet, if you eat healthy, you just feel better. Naturally, science proves that. So yeah, I'm just trying to follow that. And I hope you guys enjoyed my little grocery haul. It wasn't super organized, but yeah, just, my diet is very colorful. I like to say the more color on your plate, the better. Just makes it more fun to eat too. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions or not. I hope you'll have a beautiful day. You are in a frisky mood. Do not attack me. Do not attack me. Stop, don't do that to the camera. Look, you're so beautiful when you're not frisky. Oh, give me all the angles, lady. So I'm talking about Nala. Work it.